Here are my jeans, Mum. Oh, thanks, darling. That's a great help. I want to get this thing loaded up tonight. Okay, Simon's just coming with his. Right. Oh, thank you, darling. Turn that noise down! Should have a word with Simon. Why is he lonely? <laughs> Look what I find in his pocket. A cigarette? Oh, he's probably having an experimental drag down the garden shed. But David, darling, if he'd like smoke, he'd have finished it. Yeah, but that's not all. In his other pocket, these. <laughs> that's not funny. Sally, what are you suggesting? Simon is a gay chain smoker. <laughs> I'm not worried about the earrings so much. I've no doubt he's got a young girlfriend at school he's fond of. But I don't want him to get into the habit of smoking. Quite right. And I'll have a word with him. Yes. Where is he? Ooh, outside. Mending the puncture, I think. Oh, I hope he's got his sweater on. It's chilly out this evening. Stanley, you really must stop mollycoddling him. Oh, so you think I'm a mollycoddler, do you? No, I think you're a wise and excellent mother. Ah, oh, bless you, darling. And a dedicated fusspot. David, really? <laughs> really what? Well, I'm only concerned with the children's well-being. Well, so am I, darling, but think. What? How old are they? Well, you know as well as I do. Jane's 14. 15. Is she? Oh, yes, so she is. Well, anyway, Peter's 15. And a half. And Simon's 17. 18 next birthday, when they'll not only be entitled to vote, but can legally leave home. Leave home? But he's only a child. Darling, what were you doing when you were 18? <laughs> Expecting Simon. Ah. <laughs> well, now you know what I mean. He's not a child anymore, and you've got to stop treating him like one. Why, at that age, some kids are out sowing their wild oats. What? Or even getting married. Simon, my baby is sowing his wild oats. <laughs> well, it seems like only yesterday when he was sitting over there in that corner, rocking backwards and forwards on his little blue potty. <laughs> Getting married? I bet he doesn't know the first I bet thing he about... does. <laughs> Darling, you've just got to accept the fact they're not babies anymore. Yes, I suppose you're right. Of course, there is a solution. Oh, what's that? Well, we're not too old. Too no, no, you don't. Three children are fine, four is a population explosion. <laughs> now, you've got to concentrate all your maternal instincts on allowing the three we have got to grow up. Yes, all right, darling, I'll try. Fine. Yeah. I know. For a start, I'll give Simon driving lessons. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Hi, Mum, I'm just popping out for an hour or so. Don't worry, I'll put my sweater on. Oh, that's all right, dear. What? Well, if you feel warm enough, you rely on your own good judgment. But go on, off you go, enjoy yourself. Don't you want to know where I'm going? No. Oh, well, I'm going down to the old airfield. All right, dear. Joe Megan's going to teach me to ride his motorbike. Over my dead body! <laughs> Sorry. I, I bet that's what you expected me to say, isn't it? Well, actually, I was only joking. Go on, off you go. Have a good time. Fine. Good girl. Brave medals all round. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be back in an hour. How long is that in seconds? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Peter, Jane, come on, I'm going. Come on, Jane, Simon's going. Ready. Peter? Don't tell me you're learning to ride that boy's motorbike too. Oh, not me. Oh, thank goodness for that. I like it better on the pillion. On the pillion? <laughs> it's all right, Mum. I've got permission. What kind of raving lunatic gave you permission to do that? I did. <laughs> Smashing. Yeah, not bad. It's nice to be on our own, isn't it? Yeah. Of course, when I get my licence, I'll be able to take you all over the place, won't I? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, you won't mind L plates, will you? I mean, I won't be a learner for long. Oh, you're right, you won't, Ducky. <laughs> You have finished with Joe Megan, haven't you? Sort of. Sort of? Well, I've got to ask someone to give me a lift, haven't I? Well, as long as it's only a lift. Hey, come on, we're not married, you know. I wish we were. Carol, listen, why don't you say something nice so I can think about it till I see you next? Hey, your spots are clearing up, aren't they? <laughs> uh, I haven't shaved for a couple of days. Aren't you? You never know. Oh. oh, come on, Sal, I was only kidding. Anyway, what's half a dozen spots between friends? Four. I think one of them's a mole. Yeah, of course it is. Ooh, you really turned me on. Better than Joe Megan. Yeah? Yeah. Well, his chin brings me out in a rash. <laughs> and anyway, he ain't got no education. Here, <laughs> the bar. 
Oh, well, won't make much of a hole in your family's bank balance. Bring glasses. <laughs> Leave a nice big tip. <laughs> Medium dry sherries, please. I thought this was the best place if you wanted to chat over lunch because there won't be anyone here we know. Yes, Auntie, good idea. Oh, Auntie, I need your advice. Oh, far away. Do you think I'm a molly coddler? Pardon? Do you think I've kept the children in nappies too long? What? Simon's tearing around on a motorbike. What in a nappy? <laughs> I'm speaking figuratively. I should hope so. And I suspect Jane's on the pillion. Jane's on the pill? <laughs> now, listen, calm down and drink up your sherry. Oh, you already have. I gather from what you're trying to tell me that the children are beginning to spread their wings and Dave is accusing you of clipping them. Oh, Auntie, you sound like someone from the RSPCA. <laughs> At a risk of offending you, dear, I think Dave is probably right. Do you? Well, nobody could be a better mother than you, but you must let them go it on their own a bit and stop being overprotective. Oh, dear. Of course, I don't mean to say that she goes to the other extreme. No. You know, letting them run loose and boozing and, and womanising. Oh, Auntie, don't be ridiculous. Still, you have confirmed what David said. I really will try. Yes, do, dear. Look, a couple of stools vacant. Let's sit down and have another quick one. Two more sherries, please. Ah, oh, Auntie, I'm glad I had a chat with you. <laughs> yes, I'm pleased you did too, dear. What a comfort it is to have someone old and experienced to turn to. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't pee. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. This business has got me so worried, I'm beginning to think I'm hearing things. <laughs> <laughs> I am hearing things. Well, I'm not surprised the way you're knocking it back. Strange. <laughs> 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 I can't see anything. Oh, dear, that's another symptom. <laughs> Lunch and you go home and have a nice lie down. It's him and he's boosting and organising. What, David? No, it's worse than that. It's Simon. Oh, I don't believe All it. right, you get up there and have a look. <laughs> Do you mind if I don't? I'm a bit too old and experienced. Now, listen, dear. If Simon's in a pub talking to a girl, that doesn't mean to say he's hell-bent on a life of debauchery. <laughs> and anyhow, he's probably drinking something quite innocuous. <laughs> Innocuous, my foot, it's brown ale. <laughs> oh, I can tell you a million of there's no time now. We'd better drink up. I've got to get back to work. <coughs> uh, where's my glass stuff? Oh, he must have cleared his glass, maybe. Let's get him another half. <laughs> now, what are you doing? <laughs> well, we can't send him staggering home. Well, cheers, Sai. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. Beer's pretty strong, isn't it, Carol? Yeah, puts air on your chest. Oh, well, I've got to get back to work now. So I love you, Olivia. Give us a kiss. Bye. 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 All right, Mavis, I'll take over now. You go over <laughs> I want you to promise me something, Sally. If Simon's serious about this girl, I want you to be nice to her. Invite her home. Make her feel welcome. Yes, all right, Auntie, I will. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you want something, dear? Yes. Um, would you like to come to tea? <laughs> Carry the 
this tray into the kitchen for me, will you? I've laid the coffee things. It'll be ready in a minute. All right. Hey, Mum, when are you going to show Carol that baby picture of Simon? What? You know, the one of him sitting on his little blue potty. <laughs> Shut up, Junior. Yes, Peter, that's quite enough. Well, why not? She said to everyone else who comes. Right. Uh, right. Do we want to make ourselves more comfortable? Carol, would you like to sit here? Hey, Carol, did you know that uh, Simon still sleeps with the light on? Oh, yes, he's scared of the dark. Oh, I've noticed. <laughs> well, do me a favour, you two. Go and pile the dishes in the sink for me, will you? Oh, blimey, I think I'll bring a bird home and get waited on. <laughs> Smoke, Carol? No, I don't, actually. Oh. I think I'll have a cigar. You what? <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> you support, Carol? No, thanks. Don't touch the stuff. Ah, oh, good for you. I'll have a brandy. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I I'll, I'll have one, too. What year is it? Well, it's got three stars on it, whatever year that is. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a Napoleon. Oh. <laughs> Simon, hmm? if you must smoke that thing, dear, you do this. I think we could all do with some coffee. <coughs> Good grief, it's Orson Wells. <laughs> Sorry, darling. We have got the coffee over here, sir. Yes, yes, that's fine. Have a van of cigars? That must make a hole in his pocket money. Uh, no, not really, dear. It's uh, one of yours. Uh, what? <laughs> Blimey! Ooh, get him! <laughs> no, that's quite enough, you two. Jane, help pass the coffee cups round. Uh, Carol, do you take sugar? Oh, no, thanks. I'm watching my figure. Simon's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mr. Redway, yeah. you've got nowhere to sit. Come and squeeze in here. Move up, Si. Oh. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Carol. Um, David, hmm? aren't you somewhat large to play sardines? <laughs> Jane, get up and let David sit there, dear. Um, anyway, I think it's time you two are going to bed. Oh, oh Mum! Well, don't all mum me. David and I are going to bed soon, too, just as soon as we've done washing up. Are we? <laughs> yes, of course we are. Go on, then off you go. All right. Good night, everybody. Uh, good night, David. No. Good night, Carol. Good night, Sai. Disappear, child. <laughs> 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 yes, well, um, I think we'll leave you two to get on with it. I mean, um... <laughs> Overstaying my welcome. I mean, I've been here since tea. Gracious, no, stay as long as you like. Oh, thanks. Do you mean I can stay the night? <laughs> well, uh, yes, I, I should think so. Is that all right, Sally? Well, I. Uh... Well, you see, my landlady, she locks the door at 11.30. Oh, I see. Well, it will save me climbing through the loo window again. Uh -huh. Oh, well, in that case, the uh, spare room's aired, and uh, I'll lend you a nighty. Oh, thanks. Mm. Come on in, David. Let's do the dishes. Simon, are you all right? <clears throat> Yes, of course I am. What do you mean? <laughs> Sally, have you gone completely crazy? Pardon? Do you know how much those cigars cost? Sixty pence. Oh, well, that's not very expensive. Each? What? Good heavens, in that case, you better give them up. Give the... <laughs> I don't know. My brandy and my cigars, I will not eat those out till Christmas. Well... It was you who suggested I help Simon along the road to maturity. Yes, but I didn't expect the result to be instant Nero. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's for encouraging that sex spot of a girl. Shh, keep your voice down. Well, she doesn't need any help along the road to maturity. Well, that didn't seem to worry you earlier. Eh? Oh, Mr. Redway, come and squeeze in here. <laughs> now you're getting hysterical. Can I help it if she finds me attractive? Attractive? <laughs> and telling her she could stay the night? Well, you agreed? Well, only to spare Simon's feelings. If he'd been left to me, by now she'd be climbing through that loo window. Yeah, and as it is, all you've done is encourage her to climb all over Simon. What? And heaven knows what you get up to when we've gone to bed. David! And him, just a child. How dare you! Hmm? After calling me a fuss and a molly kiddler, a mini coddler. <laughs> oh. I'm sick of the whole situation. I'm going to bed. Oh, here, catch. You haven't tried it properly. Catch! <laughs> yeah, that satisfy you? <laughs> There's no need to lose your temper. Uh, oh, damn it, I'm off. David, please. 
Please, my darling. Please cough before you barge through there. <laughs> Sorry, I was sick. Oh, that's all right, Sarge. But I, I feel fine now. Do we have to go to bed so early? Well, I think a grown boy like you should have plenty of sleep. Oh, I come off it. I'm nearly as old as you are. Maybe in years you are, Ducky. Anyway, where do I sleep? Ah, well, now then, this is your room. Yes. Mum and David sleep there. That's oh. the bathroom. Yeah. And uh, that's my room there, next to yours. So near you, so far. Oh, is it now? Mm hmm Well? Well. I'll see you then. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Carol. Good night, Sally. Si. Is that all I get? Of course not. Oh, hello. You can't go on meeting like this. Blimey, <laughs> gas! David! Carol! What's going on? Oh, Lord, this is it. I'm off. Hey, well, not what you think, Simon. Well, no, well, I can believe my own eyes, can't I? Eh? My stepfather, too. Well, come on. Calm down, actually. Oh, I'm going back to my age. Oh. Kids. And I'm glad I went down and phoned for Joe and Megan to come and pick me up. Oh well, ta-ra. And don't get your knickers in a knot, Ducky. <laughs> it's about Carol. Uh, well, now look what you've done. Well, I've had a way. I'm so tired. Come on, Simon. Get back. Come on. Tiny has gone off to bed. Simon's just playing the fool. <laughs> oh, 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 Whatever have you done to me? Oh, for it, Mum. Nonsense. I saw the whole thing. Well, that little madam, she grabbed him by the bedroom door. She what? He's absolutely innocent. He's beyond... Oh, darling, are you all right? I'm terribly 
sorry, David. Oh, I... It's all right, son. I understand how you felt. Oh, I had no idea you could pack a punch like that. Ooh. Oh, you poor darling. Ooh. Still, you know, it was you who wanted him to grow up. Eh? I'll get you a hot water bottle. No, I'll get you no, a nice it, it, It's all right, Sam. Come on home, it's sort of fuss, oh, but... Uh, stop molly-coddling him. 